Are you having trouble getting past this blue screen that's stuck in OBS when you're trying to capture your VHS videos? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you some troubleshooting steps that you can try out and see if it'll fix this problem. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. Are you having trouble getting past this blue screen while you're trying to capture your VHS videos in OBS Studios? Well, if you are, here are some troubleshooting steps that you can try to see if it'll fix the issue. Just a little disclaimer, some of these solutions might be able to fix the issues you're having and it might not. Personally, I've not experienced this issue, but I've been trying to figure out what are some possible solutions to fix this problem. So let's get on with the tutorial. We're going to answer the question of how do I fix the blue screen stuck error in OBS while I try to capture my VHS. Now I've been seeing that question uh, quite often in our previous video. And one of the things that you could try first is let's just remove the sources. And before we do that, let's just see what we're trying to accomplish. What we're trying to do is when someone press play, you should be able to see your actual VHS footage. And while you press recording, you can see exactly what you're capturing. But some of our viewers are not be able to see that. So all they see is when they press play, it's just a stuck blue screen. So here are some things that you can try to maybe be able to fix this issue on your end. First thing you would do is let's just remove the sources from the scene. Let's just start kind of start fresh in a way. So I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna hit the minus sign and remove the source. And you already have one scene already by default. OBS already requires at least one scene in your OBS setup. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add sources again. And I'm going to use a video capture device and you can rename it anything that you like. I'm just going to click on OK. And I'm going to select my video capture device, which is listed as AV2 USB 2.0. And again, you could change the resolution later on in the settings under video and this is where you could change the resolution and also going to make sure that the audio the microphone is set to usb 2.0 slash mic that's what my video capture card is showing i'm going to click ok and now just for demonstration purposes i'm just going to show you that the audio is also being captured but the output i'm just going to mute it so you don't hear the sound kind of conflicting with my voice at the moment so now i'm just going to press play to make sure that i'm able to see what i'm about to capture yep so now it's showing what i'm capturing so it went past that blue screen now if you're having troubles going past this blue screen even after you you know redid the setup again Try using a different software to see if it also happens on that particular software as well, because now we're trying to figure out if it's something wrong with our video capture device, is it something wrong with the VHS player. So one of the software I recommend you use is VLC. Now, all you do is you just open up VLC, go to file, click on open capture device and select the M select capture input devices, go to video, select AV2 USB 2.0. Again, it might be a little bit different depending on which type of video capture device you're using. And so I'm gonna click on audio. You click on audio, USB 2.0 mic, so click open. And now here is the, the window on VLC, now it's showing the blue screen. Now let's see what happens when I press on play. Does it go past this blue screen? And it does appear to go past this blue screen. Now with VLC, you might notice there's a little lag going on. So I'm gonna press stop right now. Yeah, so definitely with VLC, it's a good way to test. Maybe not a good feature to use to capture, but you could definitely test it out to see if it's something's going on with either video capture device or the VHS player. So next thing you're going to try out, if it does work out on VLC, is to kind of check the settings 
under Mac OS, you know, with, with OBS. So what I would check is what you would do is you just go to system preferences, you know, go to security and privacy, you know, go to privacy and check to make sure under the usual spots like camera, that your OBS is in there, microphone, OBS is selected. And kind of look at different areas such as input monitoring and just these areas right here to make sure that OBS is there. So that is some of my recommendations for my Mac users. Now we're gonna switch over to Windows. All right, so here we are now on the Windows side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do pretty much similar things that we did on the Mac side. First things first, we're gonna remove the sources on our end. So I'm gonna click on the minus button. Let's remove that video capture device and we're gonna re-add it now. Then on the plus sign, go to video capture device and you can rename this to anything that you like. And I'm gonna select AV to USB 2.0. And again, you could change these settings a little bit later. You could change the resolution if you like. Sometimes it will let you. I'm gonna select AV to USB 2.0. And again, later on, you can also change the resolution if you want. You can just go to settings. Go to video and change the base canvas resolution and the output scale resolution as well. And let's also make sure that the audio is there as well. So you want to make sure that the mic slash audio auxiliary audio is selected to the USB 2.0 mic and click OK. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to play it back and let's play back and see if it goes past the blue screen. Press play. And let's also try this. Let me hit the record button, start recording. And it looks like it's also recording as well. So it is actually working at the moment. So I'm going to click on stop recording and I'm gonna press stop. Now, if you're still seeing that blue screen, one thing that you might want to try, not exactly sure if this is going to work, but also check the camera privacy settings on Windows. And all you could do is you could just go type in around the search area, type in camera privacy settings, and this will appear. And what you want to check is under camera, you, know, you want to make sure that allow apps to access your camera is turned on. And also make sure that this part right here, allow desktop apps to access your cameras. As you can see right here, that OBS is currently the one in use, because if this is off, then you'll see a black screen. But in our case, it should be already on because you do see a blue screen. It's just that the problem is it's stuck at the moment. So just to double check it, just to make sure that it's there and it's enabled. Now, next step to troubleshoot this issue is to try using VLC. Let's see if that works as well. So I'm gonna close out OBS, open up VLC, and I'm gonna go to media, open capture device, and by default, it's going to use direct show. And all we do is we're just going to select play. And there is the VHS. And I'm going to press play. And let's make sure that it goes past the blue screen. And it does go past the blue screen. I'm going to press stop. And we're back at the blue screen. So it seems like there's something else going on. So here are some other things that you can try as well. So next thing you want to look at is your cables. You know, these could be causing some problems as well. So if you have a spare set of AV cables, try changing them out as well. Also, the next thing you want to try is maybe try using a different computer. See if that fixes the issues. Uh, if it doesn't, then there's absolutely something wrong with either your video capture device or your VHS player. One thing I would recommend checking out is this little forum thread on OBS where a similar person had the same situation and found out that 
it was eventually the VHS player that was causing the issues. So it's going to be a lot of different steps that you're going to have to troubleshoot to figure out this issue. Question of the day for everyone is, do you have other solutions that might be able to fix this problem? Did you ever encounter this issue? What steps did you use to troubleshoot this? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get notified of new videos. If you want to learn how to capture your VHS videos into a digital format, check out these videos. I'll see you next time.